Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics. Yeah, well, I don't know what you overheard, but the uh, Yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament, solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Gods. A woman attacked right on the streets. Are you all right? Did you see what happened? Ugh, I'm so sorry. I hope the aid give you more Guards peace in the future. Away. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks important. Idiots who don't look good meat when I throw it at your faces. If you ever think of throwing meat at me, I will have you dragged off to sit in a mine so fast the guards will yank those filthy mm? arms no. of yours off. I was just getting some fresh air. I had one too many pints of mead at the Silver Blood Inn. I'd better... Heard they're informing the dawn. No. Anyone seen entering or leaving? Strange lights or unusual noises? It's a bad. I'm gonna be a silver one day, like my mother and father. I'm sorry to drag you into Markarth's problems, but after that attack in the market, I'm running out of time. You're an outsider. You're dangerous looking. You'll do. You want answers? Well, so do I. So does everyone in the city. A man goes crazy in the market. Everyone knows he's a forsworn agent. Guards do nothing. Nothing but clean up the mess. This has been going on for years, and all I've been able to find is murder and blood. I need help. Please, you find out why that woman was attacked, who's behind Waylon and the Forsworn, and I'll pay you for any information you bring me. She's not from Markarth. The air about her screamed outsider. Visitors to the city usually stay at the Silver Blood Inn. He was one of the smelter workers. I used to have a job down there myself, casting silver ingots. I never knew much about Whalen, except he lives in the Warrens, like all the other workers. They're remnants of the old rulers of Markarth, natives of the Reach, followers of the old ways. The Nords drove them out of the city, Ulfric Stormcloak and his men. That was about 20 years ago. But somehow they're still here, and they're killing people. Yes. It all started when I was a boy. My father owned one of the mines, rare for anyone who was in the Nord. He was killed. Guards said it was just a madman, but everyone knew the murderer was a member of the Forsworn. I've been trying to find out why ever since. Gotten nowhere so far. And then I got married. I have a child of my own on the way. I swore I was going to just give up for my child's sake, but it's like my father's ghost is haunting me, asking me why. 
Be careful who you talk to. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Warrens ain't for you. Trust me. You don't want to be here. No one wants to. I don't know anyone here who doesn't have rattles or ataxia. Yes? You've been digging around where you don't belong. It's time you learned a lesson. Someone who doesn't like you asking questions. Come on, let's see what you're made of. <laughs> a pit bait. I was sent by Nepos the Nose. The old man hands out the orders. He told me to make sure you didn't get in the way. That's all I know, I swear. Guard might get nervous. A woman approaches with a weapon. Hail companion. Is that fur coming out of your ears? the house? You want that ending? You're closing this stall, and that's final. You want to give up now, out of fear? Is that what we're going to teach our daughter? Don't mind the yelling. My parents are always going at each other. I work silver, like my father, and his father before him. My daughter Adara is going to be a fine silversmith when she's older. I'm just here to clean up. Holmes. I said Holmes, you backbiter. Give a cripple worker a helping hand. Excuse me. 
Do you know anything about this house? Seen anyone enter or leave? I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. I believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship. Evil rites and so forth. I was actually just about to head on inside. Be good to have someone watch my back. Follow me, and keep your eyes open. Daedra are powerful creatures and tricksters. Never know what you'll find. Fresh food. No wood rot on the furniture. Someone's been here. Recently. But the people I asked say no one enters or leaves. Wait, did you hear that? I think it came this way. That's it. Something's inside the house. Come on. Get to the bottom of this. Come out! We know you're here. There's another door. See if you can get it open. Sindar's mercy! This isn't an ordinary Daedra. We have to get help. Weak. He's weak. You're strong. Crush him. You first. Come on. Let's go. Get out of my hand, Daedra. You will kill. You will kill or you will die. I don't want to die. I can't die here. Daedra has us. It's you or me. What was that? Yes. Your reward is waiting for you, mortal. Further down. Yes, further into the bowels. So close, your prize is waiting. Did you think Molek Baal, the Lord of Domination, would so easily reward you? What do you see from that little cage? Speak! Rusted. Dry. There was a time when this mace dripped with the blood of the feeble and the worthless. But a Daedric Lord has his enemies, and my rival Boethia had her priest desecrate it, left it here to decay until you came. Revenge? No, I want submission. I want the priest who did this to bend his knee and give me his soul. He comes by to perform Boethia's insulting rites at my altar, but he's been missing, captured and bound, left to rot. Save him. Let him perform his rite one more time. And when he does, we will be waiting for him.
The treasury house is really just for patrons of the Silverblood family. You don't belong here. What are you doing here? I told them no visitors. The Imperial agent? That's right, I knew. How many dogs is the Empire going to send after me? This is my business. My city. You Empire lovers should learn to stay out of it. Now get out! What? By the gods, Betrid! My wife. They killed her. Damn Madanok. Damn his forsworn backside. No, you're not. You want to know what the forsworn really are? They're my puppets. I have their king rotting in Sidna mine. He was supposed to keep them under control. When their uprising was crushed, I had Madanok brought to me. He was a wild animal, but a useful one. I offered him a stay from execution if he used his influence to deal with any annoyances that came up. Competitors, agents, idiots. So I've let him run his little forsworn rebellion from inside Sidna mine. Now he's out of control. <coughs> Madanach, the king in rags. While we were off fighting the Elves in the Great War, Madanak was busy ruling over the Reach. Until Ulfri came and put them down. You already got what you wanted, you damn hound. This is your fault. You and Madanak are animals, and I'll see you both rot to death in Sidna Mine for this. Now get out of my house! Dragon to attack Kynesburg. Why? Why there? There's no place safe. Can I help you? Excuse me. What's your business here? We haven't been expecting you, and the old man needs his rest. Come back some other time. Wait. It's okay, my dear. Send her in. Yes, Nepos. You heard him. Go on in. I'm sorry about my housekeeper. She's a little protective of me. Now, what is it you want? Ah, yes. You've proven to be a real bloodhound. Well, you've sniffed me out. I've been playing this game for almost 20 years. Sending the young to their deaths. All in the name of the Force Woman. And I'm tired. So tired. Because my king told me to. Madanok. When the uprising fell at the hands of the Nords, they threw him in the mines. I don't know how, but he lives. I get his messages, and I hand out his orders without question. 
My dear girl, what makes you think you're getting out of here alive? You were seen coming in. The girl at the door is a Forsworn agent masquerading as a maid. You aren't the first one to have gotten this far. You won't be the last. He is the King in Rags, a man who once held all the reach within his grip. He stokes the passions of the downtrodden in this city, directs them to kill the enemies of the Forsworn in our name. All from inside Sidna Mine, a Nord prison. The irony is quite thick. Mark Earth and the Reach are our lands. That is why we are the Forsworn. We cannot claim the home that is rightly ours. But then, during their war with the Elves, we had our moment. We drove the Nords out of the Reach in a great uprising. Then Ulfric and his men came. Those of us who didn't run were executed, except for myself, my king, and a handful of others. I'm sorry. Over here! <laughs> Go and cause trouble. Now we have to pin all these recent murders on you. Silence witnesses. Work, work, work. Same thing we do with all the other natives who want to change things around here. We had a nice little deal going between Thonar and Madanach until you and Eltris started snooping around. Well, you wanted to find the man responsible for those killings. You'll have plenty of time with the King in Rags when you're in Sidna Mine. You'll never see the sun again, you hear me? No one escapes Sidna Mine. No one. All right, prisoner. Eyes front. You're in Sidna Mine now, and we expect you to earn your keep. There's no resting your hide in a cell in this prison. Here you work. You'll mine ore until you start throwing up silver bars. You got it? You'll pay off your debt to the Reach. Just work, and you'll earn your freedom. All right, open her up. Now you, get down there. I what are you in for, new blood? Innocent, so was I. 
for the first one. The other murders were all me, though. My advice? Serve your time at the pickaxe and get out. You don't want to end up getting a shiv in the guts over a bottle of skooma. If you're asking, that means you're the new lifer. Tough luck, friend. Those guards sold you out, but good. No one talks to Madinak, I'm afraid. Not without getting past Borkel the Beast. And you don't want to talk to Borkel the Beast. Madinak's guard. Big, even for an orc. Heard he ripped a man's arm off and beat him to death with it. He's old-fashioned like that. Small blade. Easy to hide. I mean, sure, you could just swing a pickaxe into someone's face, but people tend to see that coming. Got a problem with a prisoner? Get a shiv. Here Grisvar has a spare, if you could get him to part with it. They come in here once a week to clean out the bodies, grab any ore we've mined, and beat down the troublemakers. That's the only time when we get food, too. And if there's not enough ore mined up, we don't get any. Bottles of moon sugar. Khajiit use it as a pick-me-up. Good way to pass the time. Prisoners smuggle the stuff in. Only currency we have down here. A Nord nobleman I served was stabbed in the night. Wasn't me, but I knew I'd be blamed. So I ran, joined the Forsworn, started killing, got caught. Now I'm here. All right, then. The new meat. So soft, tender. What was it like killing your first one, huh? A true killer like me. The gods put us here to fill their halls with souls. You'll fit in fine down here. You want to talk to the king in rags? Fine. But first you gotta pay the toll. How about you get me a shiv? Not that I need one, but it's nice to have one in case I need to do some shaving. <laughs> The only thing Modernock expects is a bottle of skooma in tribute ever so often. You're not getting through. That's what I was hoping you'd say. Come, never should have come here. Come on, she kinsmen have turned you into an animal, Nord. A wild beast caged up and left to go mad. So, my fellow beast, what do you want? Answers about the Forsworn? Revenge for trying to have you killed? Your freedom? Yes. But even if you were to escape Sidna Mine, your name would still be stained with all that blood. You're one of us now, you see? A slave. The boot of your kinsman stepping on your throat. Maybe if you understood that, I could help you. There's a man named Bregg inside these mines. Besides me, he's been here the longest. Tell him I sent you. Ask him why he's here. I want you to know how widespread the injustice of Markarth is. I had Markarth. My men and I drove the Nords out. We had won. So we 
thought. Retribution was swift. I was captured, quickly tried, and sentenced to death. But my execution never came. Thonar's silver blood stopped it. He wanted the Forsworn at his call, that I would point their rage at his enemies and spare his allies. And I have. Humiliating at first, but I knew he would let his guard down eventually, that he would come to trust I was under control. This was our land. We were here first. Then the Nords came and put chains on us, forbid us from worshipping our gods. Some of us refused to bow. We knew the old ways would lead us back to having a kingdom of our own. That is who we are, the Forsworn. Criminals in our own lands, and we will cut a bloody hole into the Reach until we are free. Remember, it was the Nords who locked you up. You serve your time by digging. So dig. Don't... What do you want? I'm digging to do. My story, huh? Everyone in Sidna Mine has a tale. Let's hear yours first. When was the first time you felt chains around your wrists? So you know what it's like to have your life in someone else's hands. Why should they get to decide? Isn't judgment for the gods? Do you have any family? Anyone waiting for you on the outside? I had a daughter once. She'd be 23 this year. Married to some hot-headed silver worker, or maybe on her own, learning the herb trade. The Nords didn't care who was and who wasn't involved in the Forsworn Uprising. I had spoken to Modenak once. That was enough. But my little Aethra didn't want to see her papa leave her. She pleaded to the Jarl to take her instead. And after they made me watch as her head rolled off the block, they threw me in here anyway to dig up their silver. My daughter is the one who needs your pity. I'm just a poor Forsworn whose only regret is not killing more Nords before I was locked up. Long enough. I'm not Manadnak! I was never a leader of the Forsworn. The only anger I can justify is my own. But every family in the Reach has a story like mine. There are no innocent onlookers in this struggle, just the guilty and the dead. Hmm. I left behind my daughter, Uale, when I was taken. Do you remember the sun? Because you'll forget. Yeah, imagine hearing a story like that over and over. Each time a different family, each time a different injustice. Your meddling above ground reminded me of how removed I've been from the struggle. My men and I should be in the hills, fighting. Yes, but I need a show of loyalty from you. I don't need a shiv in the back while we break out. Have you met Grisvar the Unlucky? He's rightly named, and he's also a thief, and a snitch. He's outlived his minor usefulness. Take care of him, and then we can leave Sidna Mine for good. Our vengeance will come. You serve your time by digging, so dig. Yarl decided I was too much of a problem. Threw me in here with the Force Wall. Ah, you want protection? I can get you what you need. Maybe you could do something for me first. Duok has a bottle of skooma. Finest distilled moon sugar. I'm shaking just thinking about it. Thank you, friend. Don't worry. 
I'll have that shiv ready for you. All right, then. Other prisoners get suspicious. You give me one more look, and I cut you open. That skooma's mine. Getting the shakes, huh? All right, take it. Old gods keep you. locked up one too many times. Here's your shiv. Promise you won't ever use it on me, okay? What? No! No, don't kill me! Please! Finally become one of us. Come with me. I think it's time I announced my plans to you and your new brothers. What's going on, Madinak? You wouldn't have old Grisvar killed unless you weren't planning on needing him. My brothers, we have been here long enough. It's time to leave Sidna Mine and continue our fight against the Nords. Through this gate, just beside my quarters, is a tunnel. A tunnel that leads right through the old dwarven ruins of Markarth, into the city. Well, what do you say, my brothers? The, the reach belongs to the Forsworn! I say you've earned an early pardon. Let's go. Into the tunnel. Let's go.
Maduna, I brought what you asked for. Good work. Get ready while I have a word with our favorite outsider. I had Kai recover all the things the Nords stole from you. You better get ready before we break out into the city. And take this. It's blessed with the old magics. Something to remember me by. Now, I announce to all of Markarth that I have returned. Don't worry about your name. They'll know who to blame and fear after today. It'll take years, but I'll organize the Forsworn again. We'll reclaim our land, and then when power is ours, we'll have peace. A kingdom. Until then, let me offer you a warning. Beware the Forsworn. No place in the Reach is safe from us now. Silver for long enough, Bonar. Hey. Here we go. Give up! You can't! 